We are going to become what Bryce is great at in the past game. We're going to grow to the capacity that he can handle. We're going to own the NFC South. This is how we're going to do it. Bryce Young's second season in the NFL kicks off in about two months. And he has a chance to prove everyone wrong that has doubted him up to this point. With, with new weapons in Deontay Johnson and Xavier Leggett, a new O-line, and a new head coach in Dave Canales. So I I'm just going to be here to basically tell you why Bryce Young has a chance to basically prove every doubt or wrong from up to this point. But before I do that, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because I'm going to be giving you all Panthers content for the rest of the offseason as into the regular season as we kick off in about two months and we're approaching training camp in about a month um, from now. So again, if you're new, just make sure you subscribe, like, uh, like this video because my content's only going to get better for me, I promise. It's only going to get more entertaining. I'm going to be starting uh, kicking off about like I'm gonna start diving deep into position rankings. So basically going like receiver ranking all, all the receivers from one to like the six, let's say, or seven receivers, whatever there is. I'm, I'm gonna be dropping those right before training camp and, and then when we hit training camp, dive deep into training camp and then we'll head right into the season. So if you guys are new, just make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be giving you all great content from now heading into the regular season. So let's get started. Bryce Young, second season coming up in about two months. Um, first, first season was a definitely an interesting one as, of course, Frank Wright got fired. What was it, 13 games? 13 games in, 12 games in. Um, and it, 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 it was a lot of up and downs, right? You, we, we as Penn defense saw the potential. There, there were games like that first half against Miami. Great game from, from Bryce. Um, that first touchdown to Adam Thielen was just that first half was per perfection. And we saw in many games, even against Green Bay, that he just could put the, put the ball in specific places. He could, and we saw in college at Alabama as well. But we knew he was kind of held back by coaching. He was held back by, by lack of weapons, and he, and he was only a rookie. So we knew he was going to struggle, or we knew why he was going to struggle. No one, almost every Panther fan was kind of excited heading this season. No one thought he was going to struggle. We all thought this Frank Reich situation was going to work. We all thought... You know, Miles Sanders, the, the Miles Sanders signing, the DJ Chark signing, Adam Thielen signing. The only signing that really worked on offense was Adam Thielen. Everything else kind of kind of was terrible, including Frank Reich. So this season, as we know, he, he has a chance to prove everyone wrong. All, all the doubters up to this point, he has a chance to prove wrong. Um, and I think at this point now, heading into his second season, he there, there's really no more excuses we can give him because... We gave him a new, young, energetic head coach in Dave Canales. We traded for Dalton Johnson, who is a great route runner and is proven. Like, I think he's like an Adam Thielen coming in right away and is going to give you production. And then you drafted Xavier Leggett. You have, like, yes, you, uh, you don't have a, pr a premier number one like a lot of these top quarterbacks do right now, but you don't need that, I don't think. Like, I, I think this year is just... Um, a wait and see kind of like a can you see improvement from Bryce because we gave him all the excuses last year for good reason right he had a horrible coach horrible weapons all that the only thing that went good for him was Adam Thielen at the end of the day um Cartoon Network so I think heading into this season, because the additions on both offense and defense, I mean, there there's great additions that we did. And of course, getting Dave Canales and Dan Morgan, who did their part this offseason. I don't think we can come into this season giving him excuses anymore. Right now, we said that last year. If they give me the time, I'm going to show them. They give me the time, they going to see. If they give me the time, I'm going to show them. They give me the time, they going to know about me. If they give me the time, if they give me the time, if they give me the time. If they give me the time, if they give me the time, if they give me the time. I was born in December and this world is so cold. They tried to break me down, but that's a no-no. Round pig in a square hole, that's a no-go. When they look for role models, they was all no-shows. Left the game wide open, so I'm taking control. They asking me why, that's something I don't know. 
One thing I do know, trouble's at the front door. Why they call you just in time? Cause they always want more. If we turn this thing around, I know where it's gonna go. Don't cover up the ball, it's easy to fumble. When you come with the truth, it's so controversial. This life is like a movie, minus the rehearsal. They give me the time, I'm gon' show them. They give me the time, they gon' see. If they give me the time, I'm gon' show them. They give me the time, they gon' know about me. If they give me the time, if they give me the time, if they give me the time. Cartoon. Like I, in the off season, I think we all were like, we did not expect to go two and fifteen. We, we did not expect the O line to be that bad. I don't think any Panther fan did, right? So then after the season, we gave excuses. So I feel like that would happen again this year if like the weapons are not as good as we thought, the O line is not good as we thought. We we're, we're gonna find excuses, but I feel like as fans we can't, right? I I love Bryce. I was a Bryce fan, but whenever we had the CD Stroud smoke screen with all that during like practices and we went to go go to uh, CJ's pro day and all that happened I was a steady I want Bryce type of guy because I watched him in college he was obviously the best quarterback in college for his two years from his Heisman into his last he he was clearly the the, the in my opinion the best college quarterback so I, so I wanted Bryce and I was so happy to just or not happy I, I was so willing to give him excuses last year because he deserved it I mean at the end of the day he was a rookie he he, he, he did the best he could with the terrible situation right but I think heading into the season I there, there, there's no way if this happens again this year what happened last year um I, I can come out uh, like of the season saying this this and this hindered him right he has better weapons right and just we saw the games like we saw the end of the season against Miami against Green Bay we just saw him be, have the ability to put it in tight windows that touchdown to DJ Chark on um that touchdown to the game at 30 um against the uh packers that tight window throw raw to his right hit dj chark uh in the corner of the end zone perfect perfect example of his ability to make something out of nothing as a rookie when he his his um position was terrible like he was put in a terrible a terrible position as a rookie which no rookie should be put in um but again i think he has a chance this year to prove everyone wrong again and i think as Panthers fans, let's not get in the habit of if we start like 0 and 2, 0 and 3 to be like, it's not on Bryce. Last year, literally, it was not on Bryce. But this year, I think he has enough to where if we're bad again, part of the blame is going to be on Bryce. I think so because I think it's two straight years of this. If, if it happens like this again, we're winning like four or five games. It's just like doesn't look good. We're gonna have to start putting some blame on Bryce. Like we can't just be like, oh, it's not him again, right? That's my point. Even though I love Bryce so much, and I think, um. Again, he was my guy heading into the draft last season. So, first thing. Or the biggest reason why I think Bryce Young will prove doubters wrong up to this point, or the doubters up to this point wrong, is Deontay Johnson is that addition adding Deontay Johnson and his ab just again Bryce's ability let me pull up his stats from last season Bryce Young I can feel when up the hill and they never came back just in time came through I'm picking up the flat it's hard to blame them they just follow in the past it don't add up but we never do the math Jack and do one up the hill and they never came back just in time came through I'm just picking up the flat it's hard to blame them they just follow in the past it don't add up but we never do the math let's go when it start to rain everybody run inside when it comes to the truth everybody running high Tell me what I do, I put it all on the line Everybody start to laugh every time I came around I came through the me, I ain't let it get me down Started the operation and I built it from the ground So many EPs, it gets so hard to count They throw their life away and they do it off the cloud What's really going on, we still trying to figure out We wouldn't know the truth if it was standing in the house I pray for better days, came from sleeping on the couch It's like we living in like a game of cat and mouse, let's go had after a two and fifteen season, by the way, a season that it felt like Bryce did bad, it felt like everyone did bad, like it felt like nothing was good. 
he still ended the season with less interceptions and touchdowns. Only had 10 picks last year. 10 picks. He had less picks than Patrick Mahomes last year. And he was in one of the worst situations last year ever as a rookie and figured out a way to just control himself. And and I think that was the biggest thing that we saw from Bryce last year is even though... Second two one up the hill and they never came back. Just in time, pain suit. I'm just picking up the flag. It's hard to blame them. Make the problem in the past. It don't add up, but we never do the math. Second two one up the hill and they never came back. DJ Spanatic. His position was terrible. He was put in a horrible position. His ability to stay composed, right, and go over, like, get over some of the humps that he had to get over. And what people don't realize is, like, it felt, it feels like after having a 250 last year and just thinking back right now, like, how bad the season really was, it feels like he had way more than 10 interceptions, but he didn't. Like, at the end of the day, he only had 10 picks. We were a run heavy, uh, run heavy team by the end of the season. We didn't pass the ball that much, and when we did, there were rarely any deep passes that we did, right? Um, just, just because how bad we were. But again, against Green Bay, his easily his best game of the season, in my opinion. Um, it just showed a lot, and it showed a lot. Um, went 23 for 36, 312 yards, 63 percent completion percentage, two touchdowns, no picks. Just put the ball in tight windows that we did not see all season. Well, like against uh, Miami, I think those were two, his two best games. At least the Miami game was his best half of the season. Um, where he just was dotting up the entire first half perfectly, all first half. And then, of course, Green Bay, third game to last, he was just looked absolutely amazing. That whole game, not one, it was just he looked great. Um, but again, it was just the O line was terrible, the receivers were terrible, but again, he did what he could and only ended the season with um 10 interceptions i mean we and keep in mind frank reich is a big pass type of coach so even though we ran the ball a lot it looked like and we didn't have it looked like we ran the ball that much is because of the fact that um every throw we did we we <laughs> Barely threw the ball 20 plus yards because our receiver is so bad. Bryce threw the ball like max max 10 yards every play. So it seemed like we ran the ball a lot because we never got down the field because of how short our passes were. Please stand back, come my flow so high. We keep going, 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 and we just won't stop. We're the round town, we keep jumping out the pine. We keep going, 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 and we just won't stop. Please stand back, come my flow so high. We keep going, 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 and we just won't stop. We're the round town, we be jumping out the pine. We keep going, 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 and we just won't stop. Got the world on my shoulders, we still climbing to the top. I can't stop now, I give it all that I got. When they Talk about the grace, I'm the one they forget about. I'ma always make it count, cause they always count me out. Push the word of die trying, there's no way that they deny. And when you go against the grain, there's no compromising. I come with the truth to some that is terrifying. The leaders going down and them haters multiplying. When you come out the storm, man, it's so satisfying. When you look up to the stars, man, it gets so mesmerizing. A duck is a duck, there's no way to justify. When I look for competition, everything gets quiet. Right, but consistently he threw the ball 30 plus times a lot. Right, so in reality, just Bryce's ability to stay composed all season, do what he could just to get out of that horde season and just to get to this Please point. Please stand back, come my flow so high. We keep going, 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 and we just won't stop. We're the round town, we keep jumping out the pile. We keep going, 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 and we just won't stop. think he has a chance to prove everyone wrong because at the end of the day there's still doubters yes there are people starting to realize like now in this offseason seeing us get just improve and 
almost every position. They're starting to, they're, the people that were hating last year, they're, they're starting to kind of come back and be like, mm, maybe it wasn't on Bryce, right? But there's still haters out there, like all Texans fans, and there's still people that want Bryce to fail as Panthers fans just, be, j- just so they're right. And yes, there are Panthers fans out there that want Bryce to fail because they want to be right, which is absolutely absurd to say because if you're a Panthers fan, you should want to succeed and I would absolutely want to be wrong, right? Like if we, if if, if I want a CJ and we drafted Bryce instead and I was like, oh, I don't think Bryce is going to be that good. I would, I would want to be wrong. I, I would not want to be right, right? But there are Panthers fans out there that are currently still like that and they're, they're going to get humble because Bryce is going to be a good quarterback. Um, Evil Empire. Evil Empire. Laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> but again, it has to happen on the field. I think it will happen, but it still has to happen, right? And I, again, the addition of Deontay Johnson. I'm going to keep saying this. I said this in my last couple other videos you can see the connection already with him and Deontay Johnson um it's starting to form mini camp H- him and Deontay and during all mini camp were just they tried to keep us down but we kept on fighting we kept on fighting they tried to keep us down but we kept on fighting we kept on fighting and they tried to keep us down but we kept on fighting we kept on fighting Man, they tried to keep us down, but we kept on fighting, we kept on fighting. Dot and dot and dot. I think that's his best weapon right now. I think that's easily his best weapon currently, or his favorite, I should say, his favorite weapon right now. Of course, Adam Thielen is going to be that savvy, consistent veteran that we saw last season. I don't, he might not get to a thousand yards. I don't think we need him to get to a thousand yards, which just shows how bad our core was last year. A 32 year old receiver who was definitely declining. Um, should not be getting a thousand yards he should be 800 900 yards just that savvy veteran number two receiver so we're hoping Deontay Johnson can come in and be that a thousand receiver like he was in 2021 but what you're getting in Deontay Johnson and and the biggest reason why I think you, you you look at Bryce and you say there shouldn't be any excuses anymore because of course you add Xavier look at who I think is going to be amazing year one I don't know they tried to keep us down but we kept on fighting we kept on fighting they tried to keep us down, but we kept on fighting. We kept on fighting. Man, they tried to keep us down, but we kept on fighting. We kept on fighting. Man, they tried to keep us down, but we kept on fighting. We kept on fighting. I don't do it, man. They start already done. They think I'm Reggie Miller, cause I come through in the clutch. We was going down here. I can't do the lift us up. It's hard to explain. Right, I hope he can come in and be, make that impact right away, but I don't know if he will. So really, I, I'm looking at Deontay Johnson, who I think can make an impact right away because he's going to be your best, be, best route runner. Besides Adam Thielen, he's going to be your most productive receiver past couple seasons looking at 2021 where he eclipsed a thousand yards in pittsburgh um and of course the last two seasons had 800 plus yards in both but of course just the position he was in he wanted to get out but again the biggest thing i'm looking at for Deontay johnson is can he get back to that 2021 version of himself can he eclipse a thousand yards like he did in 2021 but again it's just like i'm saying i think the additions just looking at what Bryce did last year in the, you know, being able to throw the ball tight windows against Green Bay, Miami, Evil games like that, being savvy on my last uh, possession against Atlanta to get our second win, Evil plays against Houston to, to get our first win, stuff like that. Evil Empire is the game. Panthers fans hope, I mean, again, I've been a Bryce fan, so I, this is not surprising. Like, what I see, like, when I look back on his first year, like this offseason, I really look at clips and I just really look back. It doesn't surprise me the throws he was able to make when he didn't have a lot, right? Like going through it, it just felt like there was not a lot to pull out. But going back on film, as Panthers fans should do, 
just go back and look at his rookie highlights man it's just like his ability to do what he was able to do at moments when he had nothing to work with should just give everyone hope give all Panthers fan hope including myself but like I said Panthers fan have loved Bryce since the beginning in this draft pro since last season during the draft process should not be surprised at all what Bryce was able to do in specific situations like against Green Bay against Atlanta Houston Miami um, and I think he's going to just elevate next season. I think he's going to elevate. Again, why? Because of the weapons, the additions that Dan Morgan was able to to put in place with Deontay Johnson, Xavier Leggett, Robert Hunt, Damian Lewis. The additions on defense that are just going to help, right? If J.C. Horn is the healthy man, like, yes, the defense probably took a little step back because of the loss of Brian Burns. Um, but at the same time, I, I don't know if it will, though, and, and, and also the loss of Frank Lugo by the end of the day, like, we had Jadavion Clowney. Clown. Uh, we had Gary Brown in the middle still. We had Shaq and Josie Jewel, which is going to be a great linebacker duel, I think. And just, I think the biggest factor on defense is just JC Moore staying healthy. I think that's a big, if, if JC can stay healthy, he's a clear number one corner on any team. I think he could be number one corner, but it's just his ability to stay healthy. I think it's going to really skyrocket this team into being from two wins to seven, eight wins. Maybe a French playoff team. I'm not predicting playoffs because it's just hard to go from two wins to playoffs especially when we didn't add anybody like flashy like we didn't trade for like a t higgins we didn't